Hello everybody! Welcome to yet another Texture Pack Monday. It is um, Monday the 10th of December and we are looking at KOP's Photo Realism 32 by 32. There are uh, more pixel packs of uh, the same kind. Uh, like you have, I like that moon. Looks like he had a little face. Um, it's like um, a bit more detailed. He also has 16 by 16 for the people that have not as good of a PC. Um, it has been a while since the last um, Texture Pack Monday and I feel bad for that. So I'm trying to make up and I will be uh, alright for the coming few uh, weeks. So, don't hate me, I've been busy, um, but yeah, let's review this pack instead of rambling. Um, so I'm at Darkstruth, his place, because I made up a new little thing for Texture Pack Mondays. We're gonna tour other people's bases on the Nebula server um, while looking at the Texture Pack. So the Obsidian is very smooth. Um, I think this is sandstone, which looks very natural. Um, this is the kind of sandstone you would see on those little desert houses in real. This is a realistic pack, so it, it does make sense in a way. Um, this is Spleeve. Spleeve. Um, yeah, it, it looks very, very smooth and very nice I really like the kind of a wood uh, I really like that I don't even know what that is um, I'm not gonna find out either <laughs> we're gonna continue looking around this place because I haven't been here in a while of course I pranked him with a little boat um, episode 59 if you want to look back I may put it in the description if I think about it I really like that um, yeah um, it, it looks good I, I really it's not the kind of pack I would use it's not like I'm that excited I really want to start using it because I I'm kind of happy with my little faithful pack um, but yet it does look kind of realistic, um, I would say. I, I have no clue what that is though. Is that like a special sandstone? That's kind of weird. <laughs> he used a lot of it. It's almost like there's a ton of little coins on walls. He wants to show us his uh, richiness. Oh, that's awesome. Saw that bug. Must bug Dark's Truth a lot. <laughs> oh, great joke. That's so weird. Must be like my leg. Probably. Um, with the. Oh, that is good. That is a good interface. I really like that. That's amazing, really. That's cool. It's the same for the crafting, but I like that one better. I don't know. It's just... That's a very cool interface right there. I like the compass. Really realistic. The clock. It's all very, very detailed, which I like. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. What does the gear look like? Oh, it's a little gladiator suit. That's funny. That's really funny. I don't like the helm, but you can take care of that. Hello! Hello! <laughs> uh, we like to have fun here. We like to have fun here. That's a little South Park phrase. <laughs> right there. A little farming place. Looks nice, Dark Truth. And uh, we are back. Um, I just noticed that the text interface, it looks really good. I really like the font of the text. It's good stuff. 
Um, but yeah, I'm very positive about this pack. It looks uh, amazing. Uh, amazingly realistic, that is. Um, I wouldn't use it myself, but I have my own reasons. I like to play a game because it all look it looks a bit cartoony and if you want to play a realistic game this is a pack you could use definitely definitely good choice um, so yeah um, that's it for today hope you enjoyed this little review hope you enjoyed this little uh, run through uh, Dark's Truth is a place and I'm gonna continue playing a bit of games myself now so goodbye hope you enjoyed and catch you later bye bye